Clean up from storms that toppled trees, knocked down power lines, and damaged homes. We're also learning tonight that what was feared to be a tornado that touched in parts of Columbia County was really just straight line winds, according to the National Weather Service. You're seeing some of those downed trees right here, still with speeds of up to 90 miles per hour. Mother Nature did a number on that area. Kimberly Howard shows some of the hardest hit spots. This is the type of damage the National Weather Service spent the day looking at. The position of these trees, very important in determining what type of storm swept through our area. A familiar sight and sound across Columbia County. Clean up from an intense summer storm in full gear in Niverville. It's a good thing Stephanie Lasher wasn't home. Our neighbors had left a note on the door uh, with caution for us not to enter the house that the back of the house was all damaged. A splintered tree crushing the roof above the kitchen. Inside, a big mess. Just certain little miscellaneous things, but nothing major at all. It was basically all structural. A few miles away in Valacia, power lines snake around a wooden fence. Neighbors saying Bashford Road was blocked in both directions for hours until a crew came to clear it all away. This home, one of many flanked by downed trees as well. Did they fall pointing toward each other? Did they fall dispersive? It's important data as the National Weather Service tries to determine whether it was in fact a tornado that caused all this damage. A tornadic uh, type of uh, pattern would be one where we would see trees kind of falling toward each other. A, a straight line wind pattern, more straight or divergent pattern. They're also looking for how the damage was caused. You know, we see some shingles ripped off or siding ripped off. Haven't seen any of that. But they have seen plenty of people's pictures, extra eyes to survey what was happening when it was happening. Obviously, we come out here now, there's, there's no tornado here now, so we need to talk to people, see what they saw. We need to look at pictures that they've taken or videos that they've taken. We've seen some evidence of funnel clouds in photos. All told, the National Weather Service and emergency management crews analyzed damage within about a seven-mile radius. They say this storm was probably too small to qualify for any national or state funding. Much of the damage on private property like this where homeowners thankfully have insurance. In Niverville, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6.